I sunk my skinning knife into my thigh almost two inches. Oh no. Oh my God, dude. There's a deer on this property that my dad has been hunting for two years. It's, Big one? A, it's a giant 10 pointer. My dad was hoping that Mason wouldn't shoot it. He's never shot a gun. This buck walks by. Dad, it's my first deer. I don't really care. And I'm like, all right. Mason put a perfect shot on him, yeah, aimed for that opposite right. shoulder. Now he's out of tags and he's spotting deer for me and having fun and everything else. Well, uh. Don't tell me you missed a deer. Biggest, <laughs> biggest deer I've ever had in range. And here's this like 140 inch yeah. 10 point. My dad dad texts me at 4 30 and he says hey in 15 minutes if you don't see anything just start heading my way mason says okay literally the moment mason says okay i'm like shooter deer yeah. walking in and we see him from about 70 yards away the deer turns broadside i pull the gun <laughs> up pull the trigger the deer kicks slightly runs 15 yards stands there his back starts arching up now i get a better look at his rack i am not wait like if this deer is standing here while i'm holding a loaded gun mm. i'm shooting him again yeah. i pull up pull the the trigger knocks the deer over flopped over on its side and its legs are kicking in the air as we're celebrating in the stand putting the gun back on safety hanging it up i'm grabbing my bag You're i look excited. over the deer fucking stands up and walks away <laughs> he like slips away right into the thick stuff thought okay i put two shots in this thing I don't need to wait 30 minutes i said you stay in the stand i'm gonna walk over there to where i shot him no blood no sign of shot no hair no nothing so we go back scour the area no sign of anything mm. we're kind of talking about like do we give up or do we keep looking i was explaining to mason some of the rules of hunting rule number one for fred bear's rule of hunting is don't look for deer look for movement i explained that to him and literally two minutes later i'm like mason there's movement over there dad get your gun ready there's a deer heading this way then the deer gets close enough and i realize he's got a big old rack uh. dad get your gun ready oh oh okay i know that there's this deer that he's looking for and i'll be damned if i'm gonna let him like not take an opportunity at it right and this property is super thick like the whole thing is bedding area well here comes this deer he walks to within like 18 yards of us he gets out into a clearing enough i realize half his rack's missing clicks his safety off louder than ever that deer stops and looks straight at my dad that was strike one here's my dad like putting his gun on a branch. He doesn't know the deer is staring straight at it. Getting his binoculars out. And he's looking, it's, <laughs> there's strike two. He's yeah. seen you. So the deer just decides to drop his tail and turn around and just trot away. You yeah. know? And my dad didn't see him until that point. That was the 10 pointer that he's been hunting for two years. And now he knows where not to spend the rest of the season because the one deer he wanted off that property has is missing half of his rack. I hit a deer in the front left leg one time in the shoulder and literally knocked the deer to the ground he got tangled in a fence and i'm like man i've just smoked this huge 10 point he gets up looks around literally looks at me in the stand runs off jumps the fence i get down i go out into the field and i can see him running across the field with an arrow sticking out his shoulder <laughs> yeah. and i'm just like man what the f well you you helped me track one one time public land hunting i shoot this deer and he runs off hits a tree boom he's over he's dead text my wife tell her i got one so i'm going to be home late take my bow off tie it to my rope and i lower it down to the ground and then I start working my way down the tree with my climbing tree stand. I get halfway down the tree and that deer stands up <laughs> and walks away. We're skinning this deer and it's on the ground you know one guy skinning one half I'm skinning the other half. I'm going to cut down his neck right and so I've got it's pointed at me a little but not bad and I've got a hold of his leg up you know to hold it up out of the way. Well my hand slips off his leg and I lunge forward and then the knife comes out and literally I I like I didn't stab myself I fell into it Ugh. and just dude it fucked me up like went through my jeans through my long underwear I was wearing the time they left and I went inside the blood had soaked bigger than a softball into my jeans after completely soaking my long underwear you, we have to go to the hospital 